Hi friends, if you have been watching my video regularly then by now you already know that generative AI has the potential of rapidly transforming the way we live, work and interact. It has also opened doors for businesses across industries. So it's not restricted to just one domain uh, or one particular uh, industry. That now creates a very competitive environment. In fact, Federal Trade Commission of um, America along with Office of Technology have already started raising concerns around competition. So that got me thinking that why not check out what are our Indian IT companies uh, doing with generative AI. How are they racing against each other? So let's get started. Before we start the race, it's important for us to know who all are participating. Remember, these are the companies who are supercharging themselves ahead of generative AI to create a platter of offering and solutions to seize some of the biggest uh, business opportunities. So the list of companies uh, in today's video are, uh, we have Wipro, Infosys, TCS, Techm, HCL Tech, and last but not the least, LTI Mindtree. So let's understand what all uh, are these companies doing in the area of generative AI. Wipro has started its generative AI practices since two years. During this period, uh, it worked with uh, different companies to develop center of excellence. Not only that, recently they have also tied up with uh, IIT Kharagpur to advance in uh, research of uh, AI. They have also partnered with Google Cloud so that they could uh, advance the adoption in enterprise as well. Their CTO states that uh, they have already developed uh, their own internal LLMs which are uh, quite unique and sets them apart from uh, their competitors. They also uh, make it very clear that they are continuously refining to keep it versatile and future proof. So all the best to Wipro. On the other hand, Infosys is leveraging its solution, Infosys Topaz. What is it? It's an AI suit which consists of 12,000 plus AI use cases, 150 plus AI models and 10 plus platforms so that it could be deployed across different industries. Not only this, to leverage the offerings, uh, they have also partnered with Google Cloud. Another important thing is they have recently donated uh, $38.5 million to IIT Bombay to push the advancement in the area of artificial intelligence. One more interesting fact that I want to share is in 2015, the time when AI was not so hot topic, that time along with Elon Musk, AWS, even Infosys, uh, invested 1 billion uh, in open AI. So it's time for Infosys to reap the benefit. Techem also claims that they have been working on generative AI even before ChatGPT was launched. They have come up with an interesting platform named as Story Cool. It's an auto content creator tool. Post that they have also come up with some of the AI uh, suits uh, which helps their uh, enterprise customers uh, in their digital exploration journey. Moving ahead, now we have a big one which is TCS. However, the name is big. We haven't heard any big announcement yet uh, from them. Uh, but the information that we have right now is that there are 50,000 plus associates who are trained in AI. And the other thing is within a year, they expect to have almost 40,000 plus uh, skill batch on Google Cloud on generative AI 
to meet the anticipated demand for their new offering. Now, what's this new offering? So, this is an area where we have to keep uh, watching and see what's big coming from TCS. HCL Tech has partnered with Microsoft to leverage their Azure Open AI services. Alongside, they have also uh, they are also creating Microsoft Cloud uh, Generative AI uh, Center of Excellence to build some of the industry-specific solutions. Last company in my list is LTI Mindtree, a subsidiary of LNT. Now, this company has come up with a platform called as Canvas.ai. Now, this platform allows customer to build, manage, and utilize uh, generative AI solutions responsibly. It also offers 50% time reduction in uh, cloud migration or app modernization programs. After looking at all of these companies, uh, I definitely cannot guess who will win the race. But definitely with the information that I have, as of now, I see Infosys being ahead of curve. But we don't know if tomorrow TCS comes with some big uh, news it might be top uh, in the list please keep an eye on these companies and uh, see where they are heading this might also help you develop your skill and uh, get ahead of curve so as i always say be future ready with that me sarika Hussain signing off for today have a great day